to Big Blippy Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy. Whoa! Look at all those adorable penguins. Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around. Wow! I think those penguins are flying. Wait a minute. Those aren't penguins. You're right, Debo. I don't see any penguins flying. Hmm, I wonder. Can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers. Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah, it's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right. Here we go. Whee! Ice fly detour. I'm going to catch some serious air. Watch this. Yay. Whoop. Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Not this one. No Shimmer Stripes here. Whoa! Woohoo! Where could it be? Whoa! It's the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg! Yeah! Come on, Debo! Yeah! <laughs> All right, are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Whoa! Whoa, hey, dudes! <laughs> uh -oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see that? I guess it's not the same as flying, but we did catch some serious air. Pepper, you're soaring! I am? Ooh, ooh. You're right. I can really soar underwater. <laughs> Whoa! And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes! Bye, Pepper! Whoa! That was a gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out! I'm gonna need monster truck wheels! Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Debo? Debo, you have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck. All right, let's ride. Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure. Crash, crash. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi, I'm Megan. 
So Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great! You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall! Wow! Let's do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Whoa. Crash! We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race and have competitions. Cool! Whoa! Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow! This is awesome! How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four wheel steering, so I can turn all four oh. wheels at once instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. <laughs> Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! I nailed that! Megan, that was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the Bubbles! <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm, I wonder, how do you make bubbles? Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Mobile is ready for adventure. The bubbles are from the car wash. Let's give it a wash. Hi. Oh, good boy. I'm Marvin. Marvin Bubbly. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... W wait a second, are you a pop star? Oh, <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you, thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. <gasps> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. Huh? The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo ba doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me, let's make some more bubbles! And I know just the fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water, get them sidestep on the soap! 
Make a circle with your hands and blow. Whoa, it's bigger than you. Check this out. Catch me if you can. I've got new heights to reach. Keep flying high, Marvin. And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water. Upload answer, Devo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Marvin. Bye-bye, Blippi. Bye-bye, everyone. All right, let's have a picnic. There are a bunch of ants, Tabs. And they're all walking together. Hmm. I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi, y'all. Welcome. I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. Well, jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all. <gasps> Uh-oh. Nice birdie. <laughs> Whoa! Hello? Hello? Anita? Hello, we're here. Right back on the trail, sweet pea. There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right. My antennas are twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all. Bumpy road ahead. <laughs> Anita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. OK, ants, let's get some food. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Grapes are good, walnuts are yum, cheese and crackers, I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. Okay, y'all, let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. Great to be in a line with y'all. <laughs> Bye-bye, Blippi. Oh, look at that! It's amazing how big dinosaurs were. You're right, Debo. There were bigger dinosaurs than the T-Rex. Hmm, I wonder, what was the biggest dinosaur? Good idea, Debo. We can go back in time and find the biggest dinosaur. I'm gonna need wings and extendo legs. Wings, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Whoa. 
going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Okay, where is the biggest dinosaur? Whoa! The rock is moving! Oh! We aren't sitting on a rock, we're on a very big dinosaur's back! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Hi, Blippi and Debo! I'm Angie, the Argentinosaurus! Whoa! That is a big name for a big dino! I have to break it up to say it right! Ar-gen-teen-o-sor-us! That's me! So, I'm on my way to meet a friend! Oh! Oh! You wanna come along? Thanks for inviting us! Do you want to race? I bet you can run super fast! Actually, I walk slowly. That's part of being so big. Plus, I need to snack to keep up my energy. I eat hundreds of pounds of plants every day. You want to get a selfie of you and all of Angie? Good luck, Debo! Wow, you're really long! I'm about 130 feet long and 40 feet tall! That's as long as three school buses! And a little taller than a telephone pole! Yummy! Up the hill we go! Your bridge! Whoa. It tickles! <laughs> yeah! This is where I meet my friend. Hey! Good shot, Devo! We're both in it! Oh, and look! So is my friend! Sorry I'm late! Hey! This is my good friend, Nina! Nina, this is Bleepy and Debo. <laughs> They're looking for the biggest dinosaur. That's an easy one. You're the biggest dinosaur around, Angie. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> so cool. And I have the answer to my question. What was the biggest dinosaur? One of the biggest dinosaurs was the Argentinosaurus. It was 130 feet long and ate plants and leaves all day. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Angie and Nina. Bye, Blippi! Bye, Blippi! That's right, Debo. The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa! That is a big bear! It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. moves you got there. I'm Bella the bear. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. <gasps> is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh, no. I've been having so much fun this summer, I totally forgot to prepare. I'm going to have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. I'm gonna have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Oh. Thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Bella, don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie-doo! Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right, we're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. 
<laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Nice work, Flippy. Well, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, delish. Oh, I just need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? I need an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles! The fair version of a big, comfy blanket. Oh, thanks! That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. Driving at night is so much fun! And we have the streets all to ourselves. Whoa! What was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm. I wonder, why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Oh, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. Rita, you aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita. That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. <laughs> Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippi-mobile! This time, I'll drive. <laughs> That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. Ha! Jackpot! With less animals around, I don't have to share all of this great food. What an amazing adventure. And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye bye Rita! Whoa! Look at all the blinking fireflies! 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, I love counting. Don't you, Debo? <laughs> hey, get back here, you silly. What you got there, Debo? Hmm, I wonder, why do fireflies light up? I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Look at all those different flashing patterns. Maybe it's a counting game. One, two, three. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. Hey, it's me, Blippi. I was wondering, why do fireflies light up? Hey, I'm Felicia. And if there's one thing you gotta know about us fireflies, it's that we are all about that blink. One, two, three. One, two, three. You again? <laughs> Just try and catch me this time. Debo! <laughs> I like your style, Debo. I've never seen moves like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. When fireflies blink, it's because they like another firefly style. And with style like that, I just can't stop. Everybody, stop! Oh, no! Not today, froggy boy. Felicia saves the day. Ah, works every time. Fireflies also light up when there is danger around. Oh, like a warning signal to predators to stay away? Yep. Nope, not my style. Not bad, but nah. Hey, Blippi, will you help me find a firefly with a blinking style like mine? You mean like a counting game? Yeah. Do you remember my flash pattern? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it! We found your match! Now that's my style. <laughs> what a great adventure! And I got the answer to my question. Why do fireflies light up? Fireflies light up to warn predators to stay away and to help them find other fireflies with the same blinking style. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for your help, Blippi! Bye, Felicia! One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! 
These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, huh? can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? <laughs> are you okay, Debo? <laughs> You have so many amazing things on you! Hey, wait! Are we at the bottom now? No! You've reached my knees! Still a bit of a way to go! Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom! Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Debo! Oh, no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the bubbles! <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm, I wonder, how do you make bubbles? Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Mobile is ready for adventure. The bubbles are from the car wash. Let's give it a wash. Hi. Oh, good boy. I'm Marvin. Marvin Bubbly. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait a second. Are you a pop star? Oh. <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo ba doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me... Let's make some more bubbles! And I know just the fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water Get them sized up on the soap Make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me 
if you can. I've got new heights to reach. Keep flying high, Marvin. And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye-bye, Marvin. Bye-bye, Blippi. Bye-bye, everyone. What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the bubbles. <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make bubbles? Great idea. We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrink it down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. The bubbles are from the car wash. Let's give it a wash. Hi. Oh, good boy. I'm Marvin. Marvin Bubbly. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait, wait a second. Are you a pop star? Oh. <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. <gasps> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo ba doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me, let's make some more bubbles! And I know just a fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water, get them sized up on the soap, make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water. Upload answer, Devo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Marvin. Bye-bye, Blippi. Bye-bye, everyone. Whoa, look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> And look at those super long whiskers! Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs! Let's follow that kitty cat and find out! I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Ready for adventure! Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa! What 
What was that? Hey, it's me, Flippy. What's your name? Hippley's the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. You land so perfectly. My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Aha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippy. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley! Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the Bubbles! <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm, I wonder, how do you make bubbles? Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Mobile is ready for adventure. The bubbles are from the car wash. Let's give it a wash. Hi. Oh, good boy. I'm Marvin. Marvin Bubbly. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait a second, are you a pop star? Oh, <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you, thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo ba doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they fly! 
float. Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water. Whoa, so bubbles are made by blowing air into soap. That's right, which reminds me, let's make some more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. It's you. It is me! Just dip your hands in the water Get them sidestep on the soap Make a circle with your hands and blow Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Upload answer, Devo! <laughs> bye bye Marvin! Bye-bye, Blippi! Bye-bye, everyone! What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the bubbles! <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make bubbles? Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! The bubbles are from the car wash! Let's give it a wash! Hi! Oh, good boy! I'm Marvin, Marvin Bubbly! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... W wait a second, are you a pop star? Oh, <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you, thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo ba doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me... Let's make some more bubbles! And I know just the fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water Get them sized up on the soap Make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Upload answer, Devo! <laughs> Bye-bye, Marvin! Bye-bye, Blippi! Bye-bye, everyone! Whoa! Ah, uh, more 
junk. Huh? Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! <laughs> Whoa, Debo, there sure are a lot. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, how many teeth does a shark have? <laughs> Great idea, Debo. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller. Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hi there. I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. <laughs> We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam into the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello. I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow, what a great friendship. Whoop. Whoa! Someone called the Tooth Fairy. Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. <laughs> ah, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa! Another tooth on the loose. That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. <laughs> You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi. Don't forget the boss. <laughs> What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the Bubbles! <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm, I wonder, how do you make bubbles? Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Mobile is ready for adventure. The bubbles are from the car wash. Let's give it a wash. Hi. Oh, good boy. I'm Marvin. Marvin Bubbly. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait a second, are you a pop star? Oh. 
<laughs> sure am. My mom loves you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. <laughs> Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo -ba -doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me... Let's make some more bubbles! And I know just the fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water Get them sized up on the soap Make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Upload answer, Devo! <laughs> Bye-bye, Marvin! Bye-bye, Blippi! Bye-bye, everyone! <laughs> The same for that mouse. Bubbling cauldrons and a witch's room. Let's go for a ride and sing this tune. Ha <laughs> uh, ha, uh, Halloween, Halloween night. Put on a costume. Ready for a fright. Oh, who's that knocking on the door? Trick or treat is Gets up and walks. You have to come and see from near and far. There's a pirate spider who will greet you with an arr. There's so much fun on Halloween. So many costumes and friends to see. <laughs> Forget to go and trick or treat. You'll have lots of candy that we can all eat. Ha ha, Halloween, Halloween night. Put on a costume, ready for a fright. Oh, who's that? Bye. 